A couple other news and notes. Uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov hinting that he will be stepping away from MMA coaching. And there was some translations of a post on Instagram concluding the year. Take care, brothers. The year certainly turned out to be a very busy and successful one. I hope my decision is only for the best. A big hug to you all. Thank you. You were a big reason for my success in sports. And then there's another quote. Habib is leaving the MMA industry. It's about coaching and everything else related to MMA. The reason is Habib's desire to devote more time to his family. So. A lot of people had Khabib Nurmagomedov and Javier Mendez as the coaches of the year in 2022. A lot of people felt like he would be in here for the long game, Kenny, and maybe be able to scratch that competitive itch by being a coach and not a fighter. And, uh, you know, if you take him at his word here through interpretation, it looks like Khabib's going to be stepping away. I'd imagine he'll be there for Islam Akashev here in six weeks or so, but I don't know. And that's interesting. I, I think he's probably at the very least going to slow down his schedule significantly. Um, I, I know he does work with a bunch of fighters, but I, I think more than anything else, I think the dedication of the time in between fights, it's one thing to go ahead and corner someone uh, for a weekend or for a week, but spending, you know, Monday through Saturday, potentially Monday through Sunday, every day of the week, you know, coaching, <laughs> monitoring, you know, doing the game planning, doing the drills, all that stuff is probably taking away a lot of time from his family. So I, I totally get it on in that regard and uh, wish him the best. But hopefully we do see him in some capacity. Pro MMA fighter Shamil Zavurov, and I got this from MMA Junking, one of Khabib's closest friends and, and confidants, uh, also alluded to Khabib stepping back. He's left this sport, but the sports spirit will never leave him. That was good training. Uh, indeed, it was. Is it true that Khabib retired habib retired we did talk about it seemingly that is what's happening and obviously if there's any athlete former athlete you take at his or her word it's that guy right oh without a doubt without it if he said it if he came out and said it then he means it no uh, that's that's a shame well, that's, like, that's the guy of... that's really that 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 guy what he's done uh, even with his career and with the fighters is re that's something that's huge but I mean, for me, like even as a coach, I I would have loved to. I don't know if I have a coach against them. I mean, um, I don't. Think I, I wonder. I wonder what the effect is going to be on his fighters. You know, n not only as you know a a, a uh, source of incredible knowledge, but also just that presence. You know, that inspiring right. presence of well, being no, around on fight week and being around uh, on fight night. If that is the case, uh, you know, depending on how extreme he's going with this I, I think it's an interesting development for all the guys that he uh over, oversees right yeah because i tell you he definitely had a, a a certain connection and bond with those guys and uh man that's that's crazy that that to hey. me was, that came out of nowhere I'll tell you, the Perth itinerary almost scared me out of re-signing with the UFC <laughs> as a commentator and when he probably looked at Get into Perth with Islam Akashev. He said, you know what? I'm not going to Perth. You know, wait, no, wait, but do you think he won't go to Perth though? Or well, that's no. So Kenny sort of was intimating that maybe he isn't going to be coaching full time, but you would see him corner Islam Akashev and maybe corner Bilal Muhammad as he continues right. his championship ascent. Right. Maybe he would selectively corner, but I don't know. I mean, this isn't doesn't seem to be the type of guy that's going to have one foot in. And, right. you know, even if he's chunking fight weeks here and there with athletes, those weeks add up and take him away from other initiatives. So I, I don't know. Yeah, look, I, know. I mean, I'm sure he gets pulled in 50 different directions. Right. I mean, he had yeah. the, he had the Eagle Fight League. That's not a that's not a joke to keep that thing running. You have a lot of high level fighters always traveling on the shows. It that it gets tough, you know, like. I, that's why I say I was saying I like to pick and choose now a little bit, and um, you know the constant grind. I you know, so what I'm saying I still have the passion. I'm I'm creating that too by maybe not going to this gig or that gig or delegating over here. So I'm trying to keep within myself what I think I could do and still maintain the right. proper focus for everybody. But uh, what he was doing, yeah, he's still young though, so he should be able to pull it off. But that, that he had a lot on his plate for sure.